Hello, one and all, Luckless Lovelock's back with Firewatch, and on the lookout for bears, unfortunately. So, yeah, and uh, we're going fishing. So we've learned uh, a lot about uh, Delilah and Henry in the last episode. The relationship seems to be moving pretty fast. So I wonder, I wonder how you guys feel about that. Um, it's uh, feeling a little bit uncomfortable. I know I'm the one making the dialogue choices, but I'm just playing it the way, I don't know, it kind of feels. And I know it feels a bit strange, a relationship happening, but I feel like that's kind of something that might happen, right? I mean, these two characters are alone out here. They're bonding with uh, whoever whoever they can speak to. Um, which isn't that strange. Oh, the raccoon's still here. Is it like... Okay, that's weird. Has it been trying to get this candy bar open the whole time? Let's just... See what happens if we go up to him this time. Pears, pears, pears! What? Yes! What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Scared pears, the raccoon! Pears, pears, The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. Delilah, you asshole! How did she know? Oops. How did she know? Get that candy bar at least? Nope. Let's go around this way. So we're headed over to the lake uh, that we went to in the first or second episode. I can't actually pull up the map. It's got the uh, fishing pole in my hand, but I know the way. It's the lake where we confronted those girls. It's interesting the way the game just skips through a bunch of days, but I understand you're it's probably going to take the entire summer. All right. Oops, no, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> I don't want to drop it. Yeah, I wonder where are we supposed to go fishing here? I haven't seen any sides of the bear yet. Let's check up here. This is a place that we uh, didn't, didn't really check out on the on day one. Weird. Uh, there was okay. Remember that that uh, fantasy map. They did mark a treasure over here, so we actually missed this cache before. I just put away this fishing pole. Let's see what's here. No fireworks. No kidding. Got another note. I prefer reading it like this. It feels a little bit more natural. 829.86. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Fair wasn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish he would have been there. Guess he must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish, and Professionales is Italian. Fair enough. Hang on to that. What do we have on the map here? So there's a path that goes up to what PT Meadow. Oh, okay, well that's that's what they were talking about, right? So maybe we should check that out. Aaron Y. Ash, summer 77, 78, 79. 
Lynn Dracula Shepherd in 1980. Copy down this map info. And there's a drawing down here. I think this is the path that we came down where that fire pit was. I'm not sure. Cool drawing though. Old sweater. University of West of Eastern Colorado. It's rather strange. The fourth estate. It's the fourth book. In Richard Sturgeon's epic series. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. God. Awesome. I can't uh, really look under the sweater. I can't grab it either. Close that up. Okay, let's follow this uh, path over here then. See what we've missed out on. How was that? Okay, it's just an animal noise. All right, we have to go back. Creepy noises. I want to turn down the uh, sensitivity again. Keep turning it down, but it still feels like it's turning too fast. It's not realistic. We have a rope hook here, but do we still have rope? Need to find bear tracks first. Okay. Because we have to find the bear tracks. It's great. So that's that's the kind of uh, objective you want, right? To find bear tracks. Jeez. Okay, let's let's check out the canyon. Probably be on the uh, bed of this little stream here. I'm gonna spot tracks. It's not gonna be up on the rock. It's kind of there's two places I'm very interested in finding out more about. There's the cave, and there's the fence. It's behind those two fences. Bear tracks first. Oh, I think we went the wrong way. It's cool to see the canyon again, though. It's the one thing I like about this game is it's very relaxing. Like, even if you're not following the right track. It's always something to look at. It's kind of calm and soothing. Uh, we came from that way. Let's take a look by the water again. I wasn't really looking for bear tracks, so... Oh, I missed this. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. The 
it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. Holy fuck. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Something's out here. Henry? Fuck. I just want to take a look at this quickly. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Okay, let's hang on to this. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? What's that? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. That wasn't there before. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. <clears throat> oh, fuck! Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station She's lying. Right before us. She's cold. lying. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what? what you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person, or these people, were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, Dee? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in, in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? a lot of following you around taking notes which is unfucking believable henry yeah, you're telling me all right I i'm on my way to wapiti meadow i'll let you know what i find okay there there's got to be a reasonable explanation also i'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked uh, i don't want to make this bigger than it is yet you know yeah understood yeah. no make okay. it bigger i'm He's safe she's in on this remember that conversation we overheard She's in on, on this. We, I don't think we can trust Delilah anymore. Oh, fuck. What is that? Let's just rock. Oh, man. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, I think this is the way, right? PD station. All right, let's go. No way that that's naturally occurring. The f what the hell is going on, guys? What the hell is going on? Uh oh. Chop down. 
though, so we can go across. We have nothing to chop it with, though. There's the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... He said that before. It's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Taking pictures of this. Take a look around here first. Wow, look at that. Look, I'm actually out hiking, taking pictures sometimes. <laughs> it looks so awesome. Who's stoned? Use this to smash the lock. One more, maybe? Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Oh, where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, Ruby River. Where is Ruby River? Where's the lake? Oh, river, right. Right. Wow, it's way down there. Okay, so we'll go through the canyon and then south. It's a huge area that's fenced off. Look at that. All right, we're going to head over there, guys. Please no bear, please no bear, please no bear. <laughs> <laughs> 